What is up, guys? It's your boy Godlay Greatness, and as you know, there's a lot of E3 hyping on now, right now, and there's a lot of uh, commotion going on about PlayStation taking over, well, uh, signing up with Activision. So now PlayStation is going to get the DLC first um, a month be before Xbox and PC. So you know, being an Xbox fan, I'm very disappointed, but you know. From a business standpoint, they're gonna make money probably. I don't know about MLG, like as far as competitive, I don't know if they're gonna make money that way, but as far as DLC and that kind of stuff like that, they're probably gonna make more money because more people own PlayStations. But let's just get off of that. Today's topic for the video is um, new weapons. And before I even get into that, I just wanna apologize um, because I'm using like a video from like a couple days ago because for some reason like last night and today like I just can't get in like play Call of Duty like for some reason it keeps saying uh, servers are down or whatever like that so I literally cannot play I'll get like I'll it'll sign me in into my account and it'll say fetching profile it'll fetch the profile and then literally as soon as it shows like my uh, my prestige you know, like all actually in the game it will kick me out and say uh servers unavailable or whatever like that so i apologize for using old footage but there's nothing i could really do about that um but anyway let's get into black ops 3 weapons like the weapons have been leaked i'm not sure if this is like a full list but uh it pretty much has like a lot of weapons on this list so and if it, even if it's not like the full list it's pretty much going to be like the majority of the weapons that's going to be in the game so for assault rifles we have man of war which is a fully automatic uh assault rifle and then we have a shiva which is semi-auto similar to the fal then we also have the uh iraq which is full auto and the ark7 which is also full set uh full auto so those are assault rifles for the heavy uh, machine guns we have a scythe which is a, a detached um mini gun then we have the tempest which is uh, a lightning gun electric i'm not sure what that is but i guess we'll see and we also have a brm uh lmg full auto light machine gun which is probably going to be like the stereo you know stereotypical lmg so then we have the submachine guns and we have a vmp a full auto then we have the weevil full auto which is similar to the p90 so i can't wait to see what that's going to be about and we also have the Vesper, which is also a full auto. Now, next up, we have the shotguns for the list. It only shows one shotgun so far. What we already know is a KRM-262, it's a pump shotgun. For pistols, we have the Annihilator, which is a revolver, uh, MR6, semi-auto. We have a Spider machine pistol, and then a Triton, which is also a machine pistol, but a burst. Now, for snipers, we have uh, a Locust Bolt Action. That's the one we've been seeing a lot of with the uh, early playing of uh, Black Ops 3 at E3. And so that's all we've had for the snipers. For specials, we also, we've seen the crossbow and we've seen the gravity spikes. But what I'm confused about is if those are for specialists, like the a specialist um, attack, like when you earn enough points or whatever like that, how the system works, um, why are they in the specials? Um, I'm not sure if you have to, if those, if you could pick those alongside with being a specialist. I don't know if you have to necessarily be a specialist to use certain things. I don't know. I guess we will see when the game like gets its full release in November. I guess we'll see. I think it's November 6th is the release date um, for the game. So right there, guys, that's the full list of all the guns and stuff like that. Actually, I'm going to leave a link in the description for uh, the website and the source of where I got this uh, leaked info from. And supposedly it's very, very reliable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it. Um, so with the guns coming back, I'm most excited for the um, the, a the ARK-7, the full, it's like a AK basically. And I can't wait to use that thing. I, I, I've seen some gameplay of it and that thing looks sick. Um, it actually kind of reminds me of like what the the, the fire rate and the damage that it does. Um, it kind of just reminds me of the Remington from Ghost, just the fire rate and the damage, like alone. That just kind of reminds me of that gun, um, which you, everybody knows was a sick gun from Ghost and just absolutely put people away. Uh, it wasn't like first choice for a lot of people. A lot of people would pick the MTAR from Ghost over the Remington, but if it wasn't the Remington, if it wasn't the uh, MTAR, it was the Remington or the um, 
you know, other guns and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get off of Ghost. We're talking about Black Ops 3 here. The big, the big thing that's coming out soon. Um, and the FAL from Black Ops 2, if anybody remembers that gun, that gun was insane. Like, it, it was, it was crazy that I would use that gun like to have fun but still like absolutely annihilate kids because I, I don't really like semi-autos that much but the FAL um you could put like a um you could change like the fire rate of it from semi to auto but I would never do that I, to be honest I would keep it as semi-auto because for some reason when it's semi-auto you just absolutely poop on kids fast like it's just I think it has more damage when it's semi um that's just an opinion of mine i know a lot of people would put it on um automatic but i would keep it on semi uh, semi and use the attachment for something else um that's just my opinion so the shiva which is i guess is super similar to the fal that's be coming back to uh black ops 3 i can't wait to use that for sure i know it's gonna be so much fun to use and everybody's gonna have a great time using that gun and then we also have the tempest which is the electrics um heavy machine gun whatever you want to call it that's crazy i'm not sure how that's going to work out i'm pretty i don't know if it's a, a lmg that's going to like electrocute people and like fry them or kill them or something like that i guess we'll see more about that um then we also have the the weevil uh fall auto smg i feel like that's going to be the gun that i'm going to use the most because i am a running gun kind of player um so I guess we'll see. I know everybody knows you always move faster with the uh, SMGs than anything else. So with that thing being like the P90, I could, I could just imagine just sprinting around the map all the time and just getting like those really fast, precise kills and everything. Just mowing down the enemies with the P90 uh, lookish gun, Weevil. That's going to be insane. But I know I've seen gameplay of sniping that's nuts that the locust is just definitely going to be that sniper that takes the cake for every sniper and that's probably why they let people use it uh early access but you guys check out that resource in the description i'll leave the link down there it's been your boy golly greatness if you like this video like or subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys later peace boy